Okay, we're going to take a look at how you can add a Google assignment to Canvas and then how you can use how the students will see that later. All right, I'm going to add the assignment and I'm just going to do a new assignment. And so I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to call it Google Assignments. And just like Cami, it's going to be using an external tool. I'm going to go to edit. And instead of no submission, I'm going to choose external tool. I'm going to go to find and scroll down to Google Assignments. And it's going to link. I want to make sure that it's on my school account. And the great thing about this is we have as many plagiarism checks as you need. So you can have your kids do plagiarism check on every assignment. I'm going to go to attach and this will attach it as a template from my drive. So um, I'm going to grab an assignment that's in my drive. Each student will get a copy. You can set your points. You can also create rubrics and add rubrics or reuse a rubric that you've used in the past and click create. I'm going to click select and I'm going to save and publish. We're going to go to the student point of view. I'm going to go to Google Assignments as a student. And here I can go ahead and open to attach and submit if I want to attach something that's in my drive or this is the file I want them to use. And students can go in and edit this assignment and as necessary. And remember, this is a, the original was mine. Any changes the student makes here are their changes. And when they are done, they will click open to attach and submit. I could run my originality report. And the three of three, that's for the students to run only three originality reports. So it's not something where it would um, impact originality reports on your end. It's three per an assignment. If they needed to, they could create new docs, sheets, or slides, or they could add files. And then they can click Submit. And then once it's submitted, Google Assignments unfortunately doesn't work with SpeedGrader, which is probably the most annoying part. But you can click on the first Google Assignment and you can select across here and go through your class. You can see that um, there were no flagged passages for their originality report. And you can go ahead and Remember, this is suggesting anything you type is a suggestion. You can select text and add a comment, just like in Google Classroom, and go through and add all of those to their assignment. And those are the basics of Google Assignments within Canvas.